The holiday season is here, and from Black Friday until Christmas, you're going to have some great opportunities to level up your cardboard crafting ability by snagging great deals on cardboard crafting tools and resources. So in this video, I'm going to share with you the best deals on crafting tools that you actually need, and I'm also going to show you how to avoid a tricky sales uh, trap that uh, companies, including companies companies on Amazon like to use to get you to buy overpriced products. So we're going to jump right into this and the first uh, deal that we're going to look at are deals on knives. So right here um, we have a bunch of deals. Uh, and the cool thing about Amazon when you're looking for like Cyber Monday, Black Friday deals, I'm recording this uh, on Sunday, so Black Friday is actually already passed, but if we want to look at only the items that are on sale, we can filter it to just Black Friday deals. So if you didn't see what I did right there, we have uh, over here, we have Cyber Monday deals. Okay, actually not Black Friday, Cyber Monday. And so right now, I have all of the deals everywhere and uh, just normal products like this one right here, it's not on sale at all. So if I wanna make sure I'm only getting things that are on sale, I click over here on Cyber Monday deals. Now there are actually some items that are uh, really good products that aren't on sale. For example, right here, these are the knives that I like to use and they're 40% off. They don't say that they're on a Cyber Monday deal, but uh, it's kind of a steal to get these for five bucks um, because you get the knives and the ruler and you get a bunch of a variety of different extra blades, uh, which are handy to have on hand, especially since you don't need very many of these other ones. Um, usually you just use these number 11 kinds. That's what I use. But if you have just a few of these, uh, they're, they're pretty sweet to have on hand. And then you can buy refills of just the 11s. Uh, so that's our first thing that we're looking at. And then also there are these other knives. These are on sale and this is five bucks, but you're getting a little bit more bang for your buck. You get 74 extra blades with those other ones. Uh, you actually only got, let's see, it says right here, 40 spare blades. So you're getting almost twice as many blades. And then you're also getting four knives instead of just two. Now it's not super necessary to have a bunch of different knives, especially since they're not giving you different blades. I'm going to close my like pop-ups. Um, so with these ones, they give you different blades. So you can load those into the different knives and switch them fast because the collets kind of like unscrew and you can put those knives and the different kinds of things in there. But over here, they're all the same. So like, why would you need four knives? Uh, it's up to you. You might have a good use for that. Or if you buy a different set, a variety pack of these blades, just make sure that they're compatible with these knives. Uh, they, they're they pretty standard. Uh, so it shouldn't be that hard to find compatible ones. But uh, then with all four knives, you could have four different kinds of blades that you can switch between really fast. Or maybe you just keep them in different places because of that. I also really love having different colors of knives. It just makes it a little bit easier to craft. Um, and then these... I haven't tested this particular set, but it really does look the same as these ones, and they worked out really well for me. You just can't pull super hard on those blades because they'll come out of their sockets. So the next deal that we're looking at here are these big utility knives. So uh, I love having heavy-duty utility knives on hand because uh, they can do the hard cutting work that your little hobby knives cannot do very well and it's more comfortable to hold that big knife if you're going to make a big cut in your cardboard versus just having a little tiny knife for cutting a big piece of cardboard and there are some other tools we're going to get into later that are also good at cutting big pieces of cardboard so when you look here these are on, not technically on a cyber monday or holiday deal either but they're on sale 20 percent off so they're only 10 bucks here then you can also apply a 10 percent coupon once you check that box on amazon then it's going to give you 10 percent off and since this is about 10 bucks uh, you'd get an extra dollar off. These also come with some extra blades, which is always handy, but these particular knives I haven't tested. Some of these products I haven't tested. I've used a lot of different things over my crafting times, but uh, not all of them are available on Amazon. And just for my research and a couple things I've looked at, uh, these look like some of the best options. And as always, you can shop for yourself as well and just take these as suggestions. Now, these come with openings in the back, which are pretty neat to have if you're somebody who moves around a lot and isn't always at the same desk because you can store your extra blades back there. Now, they're not going to be super good for carrying around because that extra blade storage usually makes the knife be a little bit thicker and beefier. Uh, these still look pretty thin though, and they have two different kinds of knives, which is one of the neat things about this is you get two knives for 
10 bucks uh, or actually nine bucks with a discount uh, of 10% after the 20% come off. So this one, this is the kind of knife I really like having because this button here allows the knife to fold in and out. I don't know if they have an example here. Yes, easy folding. So I haven't, like I said, I haven't tested this, but if you get good at pushing this button down, you can actually flip the knife in and out. I'm going to show you that with a knife I have. Don't have that knife here. So this is uh, a folding knife, and this one requires you to open it with your hands. And the trouble with that is that you can't like open it and close it very easily if you have other things in your other hand. So you got to push down the lever on the back to close it. It's really thin, so I like to carry it in my pocket sometimes. And this knife has a button. I'm going to show you my screen. This knife has a button, so you can push that button and flick the knife out or flick it back in, which. Uh, makes it a little bit faster to craft. You flick it out, flick it in. It takes a little bit of practice to actually be able to do that though. These other ones, the the, the thicker one, is good for like heavy duty stuff and that blade slides in and out with just your thumb, but it doesn't fold down quite as small. And now our next deal over here, this is an interesting one that I came across and it's 29% off, so you're getting $12. Um, but this is got snap off blades and it's it looks, pretty high quality from what I've seen and it's really highly rated uh, but it only has two reviews so snap off blades are nice because you can use them on more destructive stuff and just quickly replace them and it take you a little while to get through all these blades and by that time you've probably gotten your twelve dollars worth uh, so you you can like it's a little bit more disposable they also sell like really cheap versions of these um, which you can get uh, like this over right here or if I hop back into the start we can search for like uh, utility knife. So there's that one I was just showing you. But also, you can get these guys. So for nine bucks, you could get a bunch of really cheap ones as well. And that could be a great way to go. Uh, and they're a little bit better for like destructive things. Or sometimes you just need a really long blade and you can't get that from your crafting knife or your other kinds of knives. So this was a cool deal uh, and looks a little bit more high quality than some of the other things that were available. Now, the last item I want to talk about is this corrugated cardboard cutter. Uh, I've so not personally used these, but the thing with these is they're really good for cutting big pieces of cardboard like in boom this photo right here we can just like cut slots out there it doesn't look super nice uh, i'm not sure how they achieved that lion because the corrugated cardboard cutter is going to leave a little bit of a rougher edge than like a, a razor blade and it's going to be able to cut faster though and normally this is 12 dollars. So you're getting 27 percent off it's the lowest price in 30 days uh and it's eight bucks so could be a good investment just to have a different kind of tool because it's really quite a bit different from your regular knives. Now we're going to move on to scissors from our knives and there's a lot of different kinds of scissors and a lot of these products we're talking about aren't the most common things to have on sale so it's a little bit harder to find like these cyber sales on them versus if I was looking for like a smartphone or something. So here we have a bunch of different kinds of scissors. We got Cyber Monday deals on these. They're from five dollars off we got a couple dollars off here these are some like heavy duty scissors we got what like two dollars three dollars off there so they're so cheap that you're not really saving that much so don't rush to buy these items it's going to be okay if you don't if you spend like a couple extra dollars and sometimes the best deals actually aren't even cyber monday deals uh or black friday deals or christmas deals because if i'm gonna buy like this guy here for eight bucks okay that's on a cyber monday deal what if i just bought bought this guy here for five bucks that's also a cyber monday deal but like i could buy if i only need one pair of scissors why don't i just buy the six dollar pair here so like there's there's options and uh, i I'll, I'll leave that up to you but just don't always you don't always need to filter by our cyber monday deals but we can do that and look for the best ones that are on sale right now this is my favorite way to search through the deals if you keep scrolling down sometimes you end up getting to a section where there aren't any more deals like this guy isn't actually on sale this uh, or yeah there's a lot of scissors on sale though because they're a pretty common item so 
the, the cheapest scissors here, three pack, uh, and they have, are 40% off. They're really well reviewed with 58,000 ratings. So whenever I'm shopping on Amazon, I like to try to look at the ratings and the number of ratings. So this has got 58,000 ratings and they're all five stars. So I can trust that the item works pretty well. If I've got two five-star ratings, then it could just be a fluke. It could be like a couple bots rating the item. And so I'll always like jump into those ratings. You can always just click on it. And then the first thing I'll look at sometimes is the customer images. And some people have like the broken scissors. And I'm like, okay, you go. I was trying to figure out like what the, if it was like a fluke, lots of positive, positive reviews. So that's our scissors. And now the dirty secret, we are going to, I'm going to share with you a dirty secret in just a minute, but first we're going to go through our hot glue options. So there's a lot of different hot glue guns that are available and not very many are on sale. Maybe later towards Christmas, we'll get more of these going out, but there's like some cheap guys here. This is $2 off. I wouldn't really recommend this glue gun though. Uh, we got another glue gun here. I haven't really tested this guy. He's $10 off a wireless glue gun. And that's really some of your biggest, this is $30 off. So, but it's already still kind of expensive. It doesn't look like an amazing glue gun. So, just because it was $30 doesn't mean it used to be worth $30. It could be a garbage $30 glue gun and they just put it on sale. So I'm looking through there. There aren't any Gorilla glue guns on sale, at least right now. And um, this $17 for this mini glue gun actually is kind of overpriced, in my opinion. You can find the mini glue gun at like Walmart for really, really cheap. So the $27 full size with the glue sticks also seems a little bit overpriced. I got mine for cheaper than that. You can get the $14 here and then just buy your own glue sticks. That's what I would recommend. But if you want to look for a glue gun that's on sale, this Seek One glue gun is what I'd recommend right now because it's only 15 bucks and it used to be 29 and that's neat. It comes with some glue sticks as well. I haven't tested this glue gun, but I do have a Seek One heat gun that works really well. It is dual temperature and it actually has a higher heat, higher wattage than the Gorilla hot glue gun. So uh, in theory, it could go up to higher temperatures. I'm not sure how they're using that wattage, but the Gorilla glue gun does just fine on high temps, but this one has a, a little bit higher wattage. Now, something I wanna note, not everybody is original. So if I scroll up, we find the Gorilla Hot Glue Gun. Okay. So right here, you can see the Gorilla Hot Glue Gun. Here. And it's 27 bucks. It looks like this. Take careful note of how it looks. Okay. Now, this glue gun... It looks like it's all Gorilla branded. It's got all the colors. But if we scroll up here, this glue gun looks exactly the same, except that, oh, pardon me, except that it's a different color. See, it's got the same sort of shape here, the same color on the grip, the same kind of stand, the same differences in the color. The only difference is that Gorilla uses orange and black, and they use black and green. All right, so my prediction is that my guess is both of these guns are exactly the same. They're just sold to different companies who brand them and put their own like stickers on them for whatever they want. So if this gun is cheaper, I might go with this gun, this random off-brand one versus the Gorilla hot glue gun, which might not actually be made by Gorilla. I bet the Gorilla glue sticks are made by Gorilla, but I don't think the glue gun was actually custom built by them. So uh, that's something to watch out for is those like lookalikes. Sometimes you might be able to find some, some deals, but there is always a good feeling about buying from a name brand because you know that it's going to be a uh, quality product. I know glue, Gorilla Glue isn't going to sell me some sort of garbage piece. And in this case, it's not really a great deal to go with the off-brand one. Now we're coming around to our dirty secret. So <sighs> companies will take the price. If we're looking around on Amazon, we'll go here. The next thing we're going to look at, we'll go, we'll just go back here. So this sequin glue gun, look, 
it was 30 bucks. You're getting 47% off. It's $15 now. It looks like an amazing deal because you like are getting 47 off. You're, you're basically like, it's like half off this glue gun. And yeah, that's, that's pretty awesome. Like you could buy two for the price of what it used to be, but it actually isn't that way. This is a trick that seek one or Amazon, uh, however they're doing it is using to get you to buy the glue gun with the psychological trick that you're getting it on sale because it's not actually that much cheaper than it normally is. What I like to do is use this Chrome extension called Camel Camel Camel. If you look that up in the Chrome web store, you're going to find find out what it is. But um, I'll click on it here. It loads up my Camelizer and then it shows me the prices. Now, the trouble with the Camelizer uh, is that it isn't always the most accurate. It doesn't really have any data on the Amazon price, but it is actually here and like the third party price is 21 bucks, which might actually be accurate. I can like add the third party used is like 15 bucks, but it's kind of hard to read. Sometimes it doesn't always account for like the sales that are going on. So I use a Chrome extension called Honey. You've probably heard about it before. I've n honestly never gotten any saved money by using Honey. It's never given me any like deals. Uh, and this video isn't sponsored, but my favorite thing is when it says two price changes here, I can go here, I can view the price history, it's going to pull up their little honey web page and give me the price history of the product. This tends to be a lot more accurate. Now, you can tell that this secret is happening, this trick, because normally, for most of the year, it's priced at $18.69. Then, before Black Friday, so you got November 15th, so like most of November, half of November, boom, they jack that price up to $21.99. And then they drop it back down to 15. So that with this price is that when the, you see the discount, you're like, oh, it's 47% off. When in reality, it's only, you're only saving like three bucks because it used to be 18 and now it's 15. But it looks like you're saving like five, 10, 10 bucks off of this gun. So that is what you need to watch out for uh, and make sure you're not getting ripped off by these companies. If you pri I item looks like it says that it's more expensive than it is and then it's like on a big sale, install Honey Chrome extension or you can search for things inside here and um, see what the price history has really been and that helps you make sure you're getting an actually good deal. Now, the next thing we're going to talk about is hot glue sticks. You just went through glue guns. And my favorite way to buy hot glue sticks is uh, in bulk. So here uh, we have a big sale on this glue stick bulk pack. It's only 20 bucks, And I have a little notification here, lowest price in 30 days. That's from Amazon. And now my honey thing comes up. It says three price changes. I'd like to check that out, see what sort of history this actually has and see if we're actually getting a sale. All right, so it looks like it used to be a little bit more expensive. So it looks like we might actually be on a sale and I'm not sure what this big curve is. It might be that it like wasn't available in that mid space or something. So I know that I'm getting like a good sale. It wasn't just like price gouged right beforehand. And these are mini hot glue sticks. And again, links in the description if you want to um, get these uh, or anything else I mentioned in the video. So these are mini hot glue sticks, That mean, but they're also dual temp. So they can low temp, mid temp, uh, low temp, dual temp, or high temp glue guns can all use them. And these are the dimensions. I know they're mini because they're 2.27 inches across. And they're also only four inch glue sticks. So they're less than half as long as 10 inch glue sticks, which are my personal preference, but that's just because usually you get more bang for your buck from 10 inch glue sticks. So there's those. Now there's also these Gorilla glue sticks are on sale for 15 bucks, which I think is a pretty good deal. They usually get kind of expensive. Uh, and these are full size four inch glue sticks. You're getting 75 of them for 15 bucks. That's about 10 cents per glue stick. Uh, I believe. Yeah. He, so Amazon will tell you that right here. I don't know if you can see that very well, but it says 10 cent slash count. That means you're paying about 10 cents per glue stick. And you could also check out their other deals. We've got uh, other, other options in here if you want. But my personal favorite glue sticks are not technically on sale, but um, 
they do have a two dollar coupon so the they used to be 30 bucks apparently i actually got them when they were 15 bucks so it's possible to go on like a super sale and let's check out that price changes with honey so we're going to jump over here see if these items are actually on sale and boom so it looks like they're actually really not cheaper than they usually are. We got some price dips around here, so you could probably find them for pretty cheap if you look out for it. And they're not on the greatest sale right now. But um, we're gonna jump back over to those glue sticks. But these are 10 inch glue sticks and they're full sized glue sticks. So they're big enough for a full size glue gun, which is the kind of glue gun I like to use. Now there's 85 glue sticks in here. According to them, when I bought it, it was just a five pound box and it had about 95 glue sticks inside of it. So I don't know if they're still going by that same thing or if they're counting the glue sticks out now. And now there's a two dollar coupon you can also apply to save a little bit of money there and this these glue sticks come out really well uh, i love using them and they're 10 inches so it looks like it's more expensive than the gorilla because you're only getting 85 and you're spending instead of 15 you're spending 20 bucks if you add the two dollar coupon but they're 10 inches long so it's actually like 85 times two so you're getting like what 167 170 uh four inch over double the amount of glue sticks because they're twice as long now we're going to move on, uh, but I have a question I want to ask for you. What tools are you looking to buy this holiday season? Oh, nope, my, uh, my banners broke. All right, what, to what tool are you looking to buy this holiday season? Like, uh, uh, are you looking for like some pliers, some, some other things? And I don't, I don't have a complete list here. There are a lot of options and a lot of different tools you can buy, but I'm going over some of the ones that I use the most when I'm crafting with cardboard. So let me know in the chat or in the comments below on this video what your favorite tools are and what you're looking to buy this season, maybe for somebody else. Now. I saw this deal and I was kind of blown out of my mind, uh, but I'm not sure how much of a good deal it is, but it looks really good. So right here, if you're into Mod Podge or a lot of Elmer's glue, uh, this is a great deal because you have, uh, it's 18 bucks for one gallon of school glue and it's normally 50 bucks. All right, so we could check the prices and see what that looks like, but uh, that seems like a great deal. And your Elmer's glue is gonna last a long time. It's like in this bottle, so hopefully it's not gonna like freeze over like it would in those little containers. I know, you gotta know me, right? Right? Like you get your your Elmer's glue, and like it's nice and full, and you forget about it for a month, and then like the top gets all sealed on, or like you take it out of the school supplies, and like it's all glued up. We don't want that to happen. So we just got a big gallon container, and maybe you'll like refill little containers or something. However you like to do it, but. That's a big deal. Coming over here, uh, we have cutting mats. Now, cutting mats are very important for crafting. They actually give you a little bit cleaner cuts. They keep your blades of your knives sharper, and uh, they keep your, your workspace clean, and they can be used in a couple cool ways as well with all the like measurement lines on them. Now, there's a lot of deals on cutting mats. I've only ever had one kind of cutting mat. It's an Alvin cutting mat, and it's uh, like a pretty small guy about 12 inches long but there are some looks like there's some okay deals on these guys like you're saving like two bucks here and uh you're saving six bucks over here there's another buck over here um uh, and so uh it depends upon what kind of crafter you are because there's lots of different sizes of cutting mats you can see this is a dual set you've got a 9 by 12 inch cutting mat which is about the same size as the one I use I'm looking for it over here but it looks like somebody took it so we are you've got these guys but then you've also got like a really big cutting mat see this one's 36 by 48 inches and you'd like lay that across your whole desk so if you move around a lot and you use your desk for other stuff, you might want a smaller one. Or if you have a fragile desk that you want to protect, you might want a big one just to make sure it stays safe. Uh, and you can look around for these deals or just like, as always, filter it to just Cyber Monday deals or whatever you're looking for. Uh, my personal brand that I like is Alvin, but I, you could test these other ones out. I'm sure they'd work pretty well as well. 
Now moving over here, there's we're going to talk about some tape. Tape can get really expensive. I went to buy some like rolls of tape and they only sold them like with the gun and the refills were just as expensive as buying the tape with the tape dispenser attached to it, which I thought was totally stupid. So, uh here, we're looking at some refills for your clear plus tape and tape kind of it's hard to tell without actually seeing it but this looked like a pretty good deal we got 10 bucks for 12 tape rolls which means you're paying like a dollar a roll which is way cheaper than buying it on the tape gun uh, if you're looking for clear plastic tape and then this deal is the best one I have seen yet this is 12 rolls of utility uh, durability duct tape and it shows three in the thumbnail here because they come in packs of three on the 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 little skid but duct tape is expensive like you could pay like six bucks for a roll uh, but 12 rolls 17 bucks that's a dollar and 49 cents per roll which is a mega steal for duct tape and then you're just set like you're always gonna have a use for duct tape might as well have a lot of extra duct tape laying around or you know like pass it off to somebody in a white elephant party because like you know everybody needs duct tape so this is a deal I'm actually probably gonna go ahead and buy later because that's that's mega and also it used to be 64 bucks for those 12 rolls uh, so that is an amazing deal and there's a couple more things we're gonna talk about but if we're just meeting my name is Eli Tennant and this is the maker brain show I go live every Sunday talking about deals like this different types of tools crafting tips or even like reviewing other crafting videos and breaking them down to make them more understandable for you and if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the chat. As always, there's going to be a whole list of links in the description so that you can easily access all of these deals for yourself or anybody you're interested in getting tools for. And if you're getting value, like and subscribe. I really appreciate that. I put a lot of work into these videos. And now we're going to move on to, boom, our rulers. So... Uh, you, there's lots of different kinds of rulers, and the first one I'm going to talk about is gridded rulers, uh, or like uh, rulers with like a a, 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 a a grid on them. Sorry. Uh, so this guy here is five bucks. That's kind of expensive, but it's really well reviewed. And the biggest deal is this two dollar one. Like, how can you go wrong spending two bucks on something? So uh, it's not actually on sale. It's just two dollars so it's a six inch ruler and the cool thing about these is because they're clear you can line them up and make lots of sets of little lines on the the whatever you're marking and it's really easy to make those sets of lines because sometimes it's hard to make like two parallel lines but if you have a ruler like this then you can like slide it and just line up those other things to get like tenths of inches apart now there's a big set right here for 10 bucks again this is really highly reviewed some people complain about like plastic quality and stuff but um or it feeling cheap uh but these are weirdly unbranded but you get like a couple different sizes which are nice to have and lots of grids so you can measure things out however you want in whatever direction you want and if you're getting a clear ruler this is the kind of clear ruler that i recommend the most uh getting just a plain clear ruler is pretty great and there's links in the description for these guys right now they're on sale for three bucks you can get like five of them this is a big deal like if you're a teacher and you just want to get lots of rules for people rulers for people or, or rules for people um and the but if you're me i don't need like a bunch of clear rulers and i just want something and they aren't very good for making those parallel lines and i can't use a razor blade on them because it'll cut into the plastic just a little bit and i'll risk like slicing my hand i could if i wanted to it's just harder than using a steel ruler i might as well use a steel ruler if i'm going to cut along it so we're going to get into steel rulers but here's that really cheap gridded ruler and then uh, there's a couple other deals uh, and I have links to like just the page where you can find those in Amazon as well because I think there's some great deals now here is a geometry set pretty cool right uh, you might not think it's cool because you don't like geometry but what we have here if you're a really in-depth crafter this is only 11 bucks right now it's normally like 20 but these have like some compasses in them uh, and different kinds of, of tools to help you make really accurate angles. What these are down here, these are little inserts for the compasses so that you can get a, so that you can get a nice, um, 
drawing line. This is like a piece of lead that you insert into the uh, compass, which is these guys with, they'll spread out. You can make really good circles with them. So if you don't have these tools, they could be really good to have on hand. If you're a like more precise geometric crafter, if you like to freehand things, these might not really be for you, but uh, they're on sale. It's a pretty great deal. Now, the last thing we're going to talk about is steel rulers. And I really had a hard time finding good deals on these. These are wooden rulers. I really don't like wooden wood rulers because uh, they don't have the advantage of being clear and they're also not as good as steel rulers. So uh, we've got uh, a deal on these guys here, which have a cork backing. Highly recommend the cork backing because it allows your uh, ruler to grip things really strongly and it doesn't slide around at all. Uh, and then I also recommend having a couple that don't have a cork backing because, like I got one right here, because they lie so close to the, the surface. The cork backing raises it up a little bit and that can be annoying, but having it really thin and close uh, gives you a couple advantages as well. It's just really slippery because it's just plain polished metal. So I don't have any specific recommendations for steel rulers because uh, none of them are really on sale and I haven't tested any of these from Amazon. I got mine from Walmart, but uh, most of them go well and I have links uh, to, to check these out and you can pick the best one for you because there's a lot of different things these here are scaled rulers so if you're into like creating multi-level models they have like 1 16th scale and like a 38 uh 1 8th scale so like you can scale things down so you can fit them on a piece of paper if that makes any sense so it basically like it has markings for an inch but every single inch is actually only like half an inch so you like could measure something and if and if you want to like trace it onto a piece of paper, if I had a box and it was like five inches and I wanted to make a perfect model on a piece of paper, I could use my scaled ruler and mark it to five inches and the ruler would say five inches, but it was actually only two and a half inches because I'm making it at like one half scale. So those can be uh, really cool if you're doing scaled stuff like that. And this ruler has a cork backing. Shop around for the best deals. Uh, this guy is the only one that is on sale and is going to give you a couple different sets of rulers, which uh, is always nice to have different sizes. You got a 6 inch and eight, 18 inches are pretty cool to have. I don't have any of those. And then a 12 inch ruler here. Just watch out because the cork backing can peel off of some of these cheap ones. So you're going to want to read the reviews or check the questions. Uh, and if you didn't know, you can always just click on these and it's going to pop you right into the review section and you can look at these and you can sort by uh, the the stars in the review so if I click here I'll get just one star reviews and then yeah I'll have that and then you can also go and get your questions if you have questions I've never used this you can actually ask them oh we're looking for the questions boom if you have questions you can actually ask them on Amazon it's like a little forum, but uh, I've never done that. I like to search for questions though. So if I'm trying to figure out if the backing cork backing is very good, I can search cork and then it'll give me the product information about the cork backing, which is good to have. I can see the, the packaging question, what packaging, blah, 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 barcode stickers, barcode stickers will not damage the cork backing. That's good to know. Cork backing works great. And then this one is kind of, it pulls it out. So sometimes I got to hit the show more and it's a really long review. So, but that's like a secret hack. If you're looking for a, a specific detail about something on Amazon, just check out the, the, you'll have to scroll down or hit the questions button and you can search for stuff on Amazon. So those are some great cardboard crafts, but if you are looking to buy any of these, click on the links in the description below, or if you want to check out more tools, click on the tap, click or tap on the playlist on the screen right here, where I go through all kinds of different tools for makers, uh, or click or tap over here for another video by MakerBrain.